don't forget to click that subscribe and bell icon to receive a notification each time I upload a new video. Hi everyone, it's Mike here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as it's fast approaching the end of January, um, I realised that I hadn't done my second page in my Heroes and Heroines journal for January. So guess what we're doing today? So I've already made a start, so I'll turn over to my overhead camera and show you what I've been doing <laughs> before I get started on my female heroine for January. Okay, so before I get started on my January lady, um, I just want to quickly run through what I've done to the journal since the last time you saw it. Now, I have read a lot of your comments about when I created the, the, the Tolkien page, and a few of you said that they thought that it would be better if I did the pages so that they were facing each other. So I, I did the, the gentleman and all the lady both on the double page spread for the month. So. If you watched last month, then you'll know that this page actually was on there. So what I've done is I've taken it off, I've added another sheet into the front, kind of like a title page, if you like, an index page, and then I've replaced um, the Tolkien page on the inner left-hand side. But I've also added a label that gives the name, date of birth, and the date of death if applicable. So that's what I've added onto that one. So I will be doing my January female on the facing page. So that's what I've done. So before I get started, I want to get started. Um, I've added a piece of scrap Tim Holtz paper, but I also wanted just to add this heroine, uh, heroes and heroines kind of index on the front. I've made sure there's enough lines for me to do the entire year. Uh, and we'll hand write them all on. So all I want to just quickly do is just glue that in now. I've just gone around the edges with some um, vintage photo distressing. So I'll just squeeze out a little bit of glue. So journal maintenance before we get started on the actual page. There we go. That should do. And then I can flip that over and just add that. I've left a nice little border all the way around. There we go. I've just used a piece of, um, well, it was a, an, an image of an old lined piece of paper, vintage piece of paper, and I've even left the bits where you can see the holes where it was stapled into the journal of the book. <laughs> so that's going to be my index page. So I'm going to be building my January lady on this one here, like I've just said. So who am I going to do? Well, if you looked at the thumbnail for the video, you may not have recognised the name. I may not have recognised the face, I should say, but you will possibly, if you're um, into your art, then you'll know who she may be. Um, so this is Dame Barbara Hepworth, um, a local girl born in Wakefield, which is only a few miles away, on the 10th of January, 1903, and sadly passed away on the 20th of May, 1975, um, which made me seven when she passed away. But that's going to be my female heroine for January. So why Barbara Hepworth, you want to know? Well, Barbara Hepworth was a modernist artist. Uh, she studied at the Leeds School of Art in the early part of the 1920s, along with people like Henry Moore, the famous sculptor. In her own right, Barbara Hepworth was a, um, a sculptor as well as a painter. And to form part of the page, I'm going to be using some reproductions of some of her paintings. So this was one of her paintings. And this abstract piece is called Genesis. So that's gonna form the basis of the background, um, and it was painted in 1969. Did I, I've written it on the back, just so I remember. Um, so yes, that was painted in 1969. Um, I was a year old in 1969. So that's going to form the basis of the base. What I was going to do, or what I normally do, is I build the cluster up first and then stick them directly down. I'm not gonna do that this time. So I'm just gonna go around, I've got some uh, distressing in front of me, that one doesn't feel like it's very juicy. 
so that might be on its way out so let's grab a second one. Oh, that one's better newer version so this isn't the entire piece I've obviously had to just crop it down a little bit to fit um, and these are images which um, I've taken from our web, uh, websites various, various different places um, and these are some of the pieces of art from Barbara that I absolutely love and would definitely definitely have these on my wall um, if I could possibly afford them. So that's going to be the base. Let's grab some glue. So this is the spirit glue, Colol spirit glue. Um, people ask me why spirit glue because with it being made from alcohol spirit rather than water it doesn't make your pages buckle. It's a wrinkle free glue um, but it's not cheap. <laughs> as far as glues are concerned it, yeah it's not it's not expensive but it's not the cheapest either um, but also it gives me wiggle room so because these sheets in this book kind of move having a bit of wiggle room is going to be nice just to be able to get it centered I mean, that's just nice on its own isn't it I could just stick that in the corner and say ha, page done but no not going to do that okay so the second piece of artwork I'm going to add over the top to build up my cluster is this one again abstract art from Barbara so this one is called Perigord and was painted in 1958 I know it's very simple very simplistic there's just patches of color and we've got these kind of um, let's say organic shapes that she became famous for later on um, she was a very kind of like organic artist where the forms and shapes that she created in various different mediums were very organic and if you've seen some of her sculptures um, they're kind of what I class as quite feminine um, they're ovoid or like egg shaped or um, kidney shaped so very kind of sensuous kind of forms and shapes um, with holes in the middle so that might you might suddenly go oh I think I know who you mean now um, and obviously pieces of her art are all over the world so but you don't often think of Barbara Hepworth and think of her actual paintings but this is one of them so I love this um, just because of its simplicity and the fact that it's got these shapes and forms um, and if you follow this it kind of is a it just kind of kind of goes and like kind of loops but anyway I like it and seeing as we're doing my heroes and my heroines it's absolutely perfect to go on the page for Barbara so we're kind of spoilt around where we live because we've also got I've just mentioned Henry Moore um, only a few miles away and um, just as you go to Wakefield actually um, there's the Yorkshire Sculpture Park and in there there are um, quite a few Henry Moore pieces so Henry Moore um, also did quite a few very famous large sculptures and um, there's some huge lions on the front of the town hall steps in Leeds which he did okay so we've got that there so that's going to go on that one so the third piece of art that I'm going to include from Barbara is this one now this had to go in um, this one is called two figures so if you look you can just see kind of like eyes at the top again very very abstract but the subtitle for this one or the subtext for this painting is heroes so it had to go it had to go in again what I love about this one is obviously it's the shapes you've got those overlapping kind of squares see it does all kind of fit together um, but they do form kind of abstract figures but again I love the color combination I love those kind of rusty oranges the burnt oranges with that Mediterranean kind of blue color which is just sublime and yes, I do appreciate I'm covering up the one underneath, but that's not the point. 
the page is to celebrate. Oh, sorry, if you're interested. This was painted in 1954. There you go. Before my time, I might add. So, my friend, I was born at the birth of the space age. So I was one years one year old when man first walked on the moon, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I do believe that it did happen. But I just thought to throw that out there. All right, okay, so let's add this one onto there. Okay, I'm liking that. Okay, so the next piece that I want to add, I'm going to add it in at the same time that I add the photograph of Barbara. So I'm going to bring that photograph of Barbara in to create that kind of cluster here. And again, I'm going to be coming down the page. So it's going to mirror this one over here. Well, not mirror, because it's not going that way, but it's going to be the same kind of diagonal slant, even though I've started up here with the main piece. This is also one of her sculptures. Again, all those overlapping shapes. So square forms, 1962, again, before my time. Hello. Hello. A little bit of information. About she Barbara? Was, yeah, she was also married to the sculptor Ben Nicholson and the artist Ben Nicholson. Oh, right, okay. And they were in the, they were in the Second World War. They were a part of a group of colony in St Ives. That's right. The modernists. Yes, the modernists. Modernism. And I also went to the same art college as she did. Did you? I did. Leeds College of Art? Yes. Well, I did the foundation course well, there. She was there in 1920 to 1921. A little bit later, actually, for me. B before your time, I think. Only a fraction. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, there you go. A bit of extra information thrown in by Mr Ian, who went to the same art college. You see, I never knew that. I never knew that, or I never put two and two together. <laughs> I knew we went to an art college in Leeds, but I didn't know it was that one, the same one. So you actually studied in the same place as Henry Moore as well then? Oh, it's gone. It's disappeared. It's gone off. Right, so I'm going to put that one down there, but I'm not going to push it down just yet. I'm going to just quickly go around the edge of the photograph. And if you're wondering what the size of the photographs, these are ATC sized. So they're two and a half inches by three and a half inches. And this is going to be the standard size that I'm going to be using in this journal throughout the year. Um, if you want that in new money, then it's 63 millimeters by 89 millimeters. I know, while well, they couldn't have just done 65 by, sorry, yes, yeah, 65 by 90, I have no idea, but hey ho. But it's because it's in inches, old money. Okay, so Barbara. So we've got the glue on there. So we're going to overlap that and then overlap that just like so. So she comes right into the, almost into the middle of the page. But we've got that sweep down there. Okay. Perfect. So we've got a piece of, or we've got a couple of, or three pieces of abstract painted out, which is what I'm more drawn to. But I do like the sculpture too. I like the fact that the the forms are kind of, I would say organic. I like the way these overlap, and it kind of mirrors the the forms that we've done on the page with the overlapping squares. So, did I say what that was called? I think I did. I think I did. <laughs> Can't remember. Oh dear, too much coffee, or not enough. Okay, so, and like I added on with the Tolkien one, that um, name and statistics of births and deaths, I'm going to do the same thing with Barbara, just as a finishing touch. So Bab Dame Barbara Hepworth, DBE, Dame of the British Empire, of course. So date of birth, 10th of January, 1903. And I've put the date, obviously, in the British form, which is day first followed by month, and then the year, just to be confusing to everybody. Uh, and then date of death, obviously 20th of May, 1975. And I'm just going to put glue stick on the back of that one. So, 
Yes, so Barbara Hepworth, definitely one of my um, influences for art, particularly abstract, but also I love the forms of her sculptures too. So I'm going to put that down here. So overlapping just that corner there. And of course I've used the similar colour to what's in the background of the images there as well, just to tie it all together. Um, so that's basically it for Barbara. So all I want to do now is just to sign and date this one. So today's date is what he says, it's the 29th. So we just got in there quickly. So I'll just quickly sort of like sign it down here. And then 29, 1, 22. There we go. So that is my second heroine, the first female, but second hero, hero and heroine in this book. So that's January, all dusted. So for February, we will start again on this double page spread, but I may do the female first in February. We shall see. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me put that collage and cluster together for today. If you have, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from me for now. I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye for now. I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. Thank you.